wife. How you doing today? Let me get this situated. Welcome, welcome. I'm still here. I'm over to the side. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're going to make some Southern style yams today. And I've already sliced up the sweet potatoes, three sweet potatoes. So when a few more get in here, we will start cooking. Yay! <laughs> Let me see if I can bring it. Okay. Oh, let me turn this down on my laptop. Okay, I can hear it talking. You at work, Marlene? Are you at work today? Hey, boss, how you doing? Welcome to the live. I'm waiting for a few more to come in here. Well, I guess I can go ahead and get started, but I wanted to wait until a few more got get in here. I got my yams cut up, my sweet potatoes for the for the yams. And we're gonna do this country style the way it's supposed to be. Let me get I'll tell you the ingredients and what you will need. What I'm using today is three sweet potatoes that I have sliced up. See, I sliced them up like that. And then, if you want to, you can cut these in half. But I am just using them today like this. So, I got my laptop over here so I can watch what you're saying. Everyone, please, like, thank you. So, we have three sweet potatoes. Get nice-sized sweet potatoes. Slice them. Use your potato peeler, whatever you may use. I use a knife and just cut the peeling off and then slice them. You'll need a cup and a half, one cup and a half a cup of light brown sugar. When I started, when I went in my pantry, all I had, I, why did I have five bags of dark brown sugar and like a half a cup of, of light, but I did. So I'm using, I just mix both of them today. That's what I'm using. You'll need a teaspoon of cinnamon, nutmeg to taste, or you can use allspice. Hey, LSP, how you doing? Welcome to, and Shawana, welcome to the live. I'm telling for these yams, what I'm putting in the yams. A lot of people don't like the taste of nutmeg, so you can use allspice, and it has a blend of different spices in it. Use one, a half a cup of white sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla. I like to put a teaspoon of lemon juice in mine. A little dash of kosher salt. And a half a stick of butter. We can't get away from the butter. No. Hey, Rex, George, greetings. How you doing today? Everybody, welcome to the live. They are coming tomorrow to fix my Wi-Fi. Thank you, Jesus. Because if I had been on this laptop and I'm watching the messages, uh, the comments on my laptop, it's done one bonkers already. But that's all right. They'll fix it tomorrow. They said it'll take about four hours to get it done at micro, whatever it is. So I have to reboot my laptop right quick so I can see what you're saying and then we're gonna start cooking it doesn't take long about 15 20 minutes until your potatoes get tender your sweet potatoes get tender okay and here is the pot you cook yams on top of the stove 
that's how you cook the original. That's how my mama, her mama cooked them, the old way of cooking yams. Hold on. Going back into my laptop. Come on, slow poke. So we can get this party rolling. Okay, let's see. Let me get to my page so I can see the messages, the comments rather. I'm hitting everything but what I need to hit. Let me tell you, I am, I just polished off a low feel of a mushroom. Ooh, I love fried mushrooms. Let me show y'all this candle. This is a Aldi's candle, $3.99. It is the honey glaze pear cider. Let me get this. I don't want to spill it. You see it? The honey glaze pear cider from Aldi's, $3.99. This one candle. I live in a split level, up and down, has my whole house smelling good. This one candle right here, I had it sitting in my living room. This is a must to get, this, this candle. You got, will you look at that? It's, oh, this, just one candle, just this one candle. You can smell it all over my house. So, I'm heading back to all of these. All they got of these, they gonna be mine. And it keeps you warm, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right here. And we are going to begin to start. I had to share that with you. I had to share that with you. Let me wash my hands again. Okay. Let's turn this stove on. I'm going to bring you over a little bit so you can see in the pot. Okay. I'm starting it out on high. Make sure the pot that you use, you have a lid. Because you have to leave, you don't put your lid all the way on like that. When it's cooking, you need to let it get some air so the um, glaze, the potatoes won't stick and leave it like that. Now these are three sweet potatoes already sliced up, peeled and sliced. We're gonna put them in here, in the pot. Let me see. All the ladies in our Aldi's group were saying they did, they did not smell good. I'll take Honey, I don't know what they talking about, but mine sure smell good. I don't know what they talking about. They were wrong. But you know what? Sometimes you can get one that doesn't smell too well. I understand that, but this one's got my whole house. Okay, here's, it's supposed to be one cup and a half of light brown sugar, but this is mixed with light and dark because that's what I had, so... We're going to pour that in there. Just pour that on top of your sweet potatoes, okay? Now we have a half a cup of white sugar we're going to pour in here. Now we're going to put in a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm being proper today because I normally... Just dump it in to my taste. And you can add a little bit more because once it starts cooking and you uh, taste the glaze, 
If it's not to your tasting, I mean, you need more spices. And I'm going to put in just maybe a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Or you can use allspice. And with this, the main thing about when you're making yams, you put in one to two tablespoons of water. That is all. One, I'm going to start out with one tablespoon of water. That is all the water you need because your, your yams make water. That's where a lot of people mess up at. They be putting too much water in their yams. We're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla extract, not imitation, not that little imitation vanilla, the real deal. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of lemon juice. I just scooted that everywhere. And now I'm going to put a dash, just a little bit, of kosher salt and my half a stick of butter. And that's it. You let this cook for about 15 or 20 minutes, your yams will be done. Now if you want to put them in the oven, that's called baked yams. But this is the way. Let me bring you on over a little bit closer so you can see it. Okay. You see it in here? And I'm going to mix them up a little bit. Get it all coated around here. That's why you have to uh, leave your lid a little bit off so it can get a little air. I wish you could smell it. Ooh, I wish you could smell it. Uh, hey, t -Pop, welcome to the live. I never used the lemon juice, but I could see where that would help break the potato. That's it what it does it breaks down the sugars you got it you got it now I our old um, grandparents and stuff may have not know much but they knew how to break down those flavors okay I'm going to turn this down because it's it's coming to a roaring ball a little bit and I'm going to turn it down. You're supposed to turn it down to medium. I'm going to put the lid on. You see how I put the lid on? That's how you put the lid on. And you let it cook for about 15, 15 to 20, until it is fork tender. Once it is fork tender, they are done. And you see, look. Can you see how it is already making its glaze? And I just put in one tablespoon of water. It's all I put in it was one tablespoon of water. And it is already making it, making the glaze. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. Let me see on my laptop what everybody's talking about. Baby, my mom used to slice them up and drop them in a gallon size bag with the sugar to coat it and shake it. That's another way. Yes, that's another way. I can smell that. Hey, Rochelle, how you doing? Oh, yes, Rochelle, it is smelling so good. Rex George saying yummy, yummy. 
Oh, I am going to make this delicious. It is and so easy. So easy. People make it sound like it is so hard. To I had this right next to the eye. Getting ready to start another. Anyway, <laughs> people try to act like it is so hard to do yams, but it's not. But you have to watch them. You don't want them to stick. Don't add no more water to it because it's making its own glaze. Okay. Let me pull this down. LSP. I know LSP. I'm already going to set the kitchen on fire once. I don't want to do it again. Um, Shawana speaking to Rochelle and everybody. But this... This is good. And by 1.30, they should be done. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. I, wish I, could get, I wish I could get it to you so you can smell it. Angela Critters asked me to make yams today. And that's why I am making it. We have, um, Yesterday, Jimmy made some baked chicken. And we have a lot of that left over. So I'm going to have these yams with that baked chicken. But yams, you know they're good with collard greens. Collard greens and macaroni and cheese. And, oh, and some yams. Some ham. Baked ham or, or roasted chicken or turkey and dressing. Because y'all, we getting ready for the holidays. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. You need to know how to make your yams for Thanksgiving. Your family will think you done went to some kind of school. Well, how did she, he or she learn how to do all that? Let me let you get, get another look in the pot. Hold on a minute. Look at that. You see it? Just look at that. And it's on medium. Cooking on medium. And look at that glaze. Look at it. Nothing hard. We make it difficult. I don't know where it came from when the folks start putting it in the oven. <laughs> but they do. And like if you have, if you use the can... You can use canned sweet potatoes and do the same thing with this. Get your nice size can of sweet potatoes. Uh, pour the sugars and all the flavorings and stuff on top of it. Cook it until it makes that glaze and that's it. Then after this, I will take it out of the pot and put it in like a little casserole dish to make it look cute and all that. If I had fixed it in the cute pot, I would have left it in there. But let me see what you... All I'm saying now, hey, Shawana, we need this. this we need smell. Yes, you do, because it smells so good. I could take a biscuit and just a piece of cornbread and just put it in that in that glaze and just eat it. Ooh, it smells so good. Uh, I will be making it your way, Beverly. Yeah, please try it. And it's nothing hard. Just get you two or three. Nice size sweet potatoes. I use three today, big sweet potatoes. Peel them, just slice them. You know, cut them in, make them little round slices. Put them in your pot. One teaspoon of water, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little more if you want to. You can add your spices to taste. Uh, throw in a dash of nutmeg or allspice, a teaspoon of vanilla. A little dash of kosher salt, a teaspoon of lemon juice if you want it. You don't have to put in the lemon juice. And a half a cup of white sugar. Combine them all. Bring it to a boil. Then cut down your pot to medium. Put your lid. Now you got to have the lid on it. You got to have the lid. And don't have it all the way on it tight. Let it get some air. Let them cook 15 to 20 minutes or until they are fork tender. My mom always baked it. Too many kids. <laughs> Your mama had a house full of kids. Oh, Lord, no. 
No, I don't 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 do no baking with with the sweet. But they still taste good though, because I've had a lot of people who bake them. But this is way my mama and her mama cooked them. The, the old older older generation. This is the way they made their yams. Hey, Michael, how you doing? Welcome to the live. We making yams today, Michael. Homemade yams. I'm so glad you're here. How's your better half doing? I hope he's doing good. I'll be seeing him on um, Facebook. Oh my, you making me... <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. Yum. Yes, Michael. Here, I'm going to let you take a peek at Adam. Hold on. Let me flip this camera around. Get a good view. You see him? It's fogging up my, up the uh, the lens, but they are cooking. And see, that's all you need to do. We be doing all them little extras that we don't have to um, do them. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They getting there, y'all. And it don't take long. So if you don't have the real deal, the real sweet potatoes, get used to canned ones. It'll work. But I just prefer the real ones. Okay. Hey, Fernell, welcome to the live. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Yams look so good. Oh, and they smell so good. Oh, they smell so good. Between the yams and that candle. That candle? That candle is the bomb. And if anybody get this candle, please let me know what you think for, about it. Go to all these $3.99. And I blew out one of them. Compared to $25 at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> What a big difference. But it's got it smelling. It feel holiday-ish in here today. I'm ready to put up my, oh, my hair behind ain't right, but that's not right. I'm ready to put up my Christmas tree. I will be ready for the sexy question lines, LOL. You guys want it, want it. Won't take me long. I can still hear what's going on. Okay, um, everybody, when my live is off at two, uh, the Boss Life Online on, on that um, channel, on her channel, will be going live. And she's going to be uh, doing trivia or asking questions, adult questions, adult questions. So come on over to the Boss Life Online at 2 o'clock. You will really enjoy. We have a good time when she does that and giving the answers and see who or, I mean, what person is saying what. It's a lot of fun, but it's adults only. Rochelle said, okay, Gio, LSP, go on and put it up. That's right. That's right. Uh, Bernal said, I'm good, and you, and I am crazy. Girl, I can eat them by the cell. Just by the cell. I don't need nothing else. Uh, living your best life. Have you ever had them? Yes. Yep. That's an You need to do that on yours. I'll leave that one to you. Fix them fried yams. Have you ever had fried yams? My mom called them yam balls. It's like fried. Yep. Yep. Now, when mama used to do the fried yams, she did them in those uh, circles like I'm doing the one for the pot. She didn't do them with the fries. But I know as it got more modern, people up to date, I guess, people start doing the fries. I think they... Started like in the 70s or 80s. I started noticing that. But when I was little, they just used the round ones and fried them. Michael said, I am at work eating lunch. Will you enjoy your lunch? Hey, Angela, I'm making your yams, girl. I'm making your yams. They are cooking. I have to keep up with them. Because when they get fork tender, they are done. And they are just about there. I got to leave this lid off because it's got a little bit too much juice for me. 
Wait a minute. I'm going to show them to you, Angela. I cook them in a pot is the way I do it. One and one half cup of um, light brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, a half a stick of butter, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of nut meat or allspice, a teaspoon of, did I say lemon juice? And I just throw in a little bit of kosher salt to, to balance it out. But look at there. And you do it on the stove. That's how my mother and her mother did it. They cooked them on top of the stove. Then they put it in their dish afterwards. But look at there. Those are the yams. I don't think you want to see that. Those are the yams. Woo-hoo! Uh, a quality? A cool aquatic, aquatic. Hello, living your best life. Speaking to living your best life. Okay, everybody who came in, if I missed you, welcome. Glad you came in with us today. Oh yes, and you wouldn't believe that they get tender in such a short amount of time, but they do. They just about fork tender. I'm going to cut them down a little bit more. Um, there was, I've gotten some mess messages from people who have asked me, Beverly, I've never seen yams cooked inside the syrup. This is one. This, this, Angela, this is the way my mother did it and her mother did it. This is an old, old Southern recipe. They cooked them, they cooked them on the stove. They didn't. I didn't know about baked yams in the oven really until I came to Tennessee. I I didn't know about that, baking them in the oven. They cooked them on the stove. Be right back, going to get my, okay, LSP. But I, well, I always cooked them on top of the stove. And then she would pour them over into another dish, you know. But other than that, to make them, they made them on top of the stove. Okay. Oh, what I was giving, I was telling everyone, I've gotten a lot of messages for people to pray about different situations. And one of my um, subscribers, this Saturday, they're going to be having a home going service for their cousin. So, uh, Rex George, hit these, hit these friends. Hi there, friends. So good to see you. Lord, I can't see. But anyway, she asked for us to pray because this person was the patriarch of their family to keep their family lifted up. And I want to keep my friend, um, what is it, that her, the husband had uh, COVID and wasn't doing too well. And on last Saturday, uh, my husband, uh, his cousin, she was 80 years old and she had to break through COVID. She had had her shots and she died last Wednesday from COVID hit her all at once. Her son had it and then she got it. Her son's doing all right. So she, we went to the home going service for her. Then in our, we have a little small community here and seemed like that deaf angel has been rampant here. And yesterday I, I didn't do my video uh, real talk because I was just knocked down. We had two friends to, to pass yesterday and it was, the, uh, the lady passed first, and then next thing I know, we get a, uh, a call that the male had passed, and his wife had went out. Um, she walks a lot. She had went out walking, and she came on. He had a massive heart attack and found him. And it, 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 was, just, it was just a little bit too much for yesterday, just a little bit too much. And our little community has been going through a lot of death. So let's let's just pray. Let's pray for them. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, your darling son and our Savior, I come into your presence with thanksgiving and praise. Lord, even though the situations around us are looking gloomy, depressing, heartbreaking, we still give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise because it all belongs to you.
We pray for our sick, those in nursing homes, hospitals, those who are going into surgery, those who are coming out for surgery. We pray for the doctors, the nurses, the technicians, and all those who work to help people, to heal people. Lord, we thank you and pray for them in prayer. And I pray for the, the friend who will be having a homegoing service on Saturday for the patriarch of their family, Lord. Be with them, comfort them, and guide them. I know you said in your word, weeping endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And Lord, I pray that they will feel your presence, your, your mighty arm of protection all around them. I pray for our president and those who are in leadership, our police officers, our firefighters, uh, all of those who are responding to help us, to take care of us, to be there for us. We pray for the, the situations that are going on right now in Washington, the decisions that have to make. Lord, leave our government officials, our senators, and all those in leadership to make the right decision, to do the right thing for what is best for the people and not themselves. To think of the people of this country, those who are needing medical assistance, those who are needing um, their, their medication and can't afford to buy it, Lord, those who are needing babysitters to take care of the children so they can go to work, those who are about to be evicted from their houses, Lord, be with them, make a way, find another house, those who are homeless and sleep on the streets, Lord, have mercy upon them, those who don't have proper clothing to put on their back, I pray that someone will bless them with the clothes, and those who don't have food to eat this someone will supply a meal or give a, 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 a meal to someone. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done for us because you've been good to us, God, and I thank you. You made a way for us out of no way, and you hear and answer our prayers. I ask all of these in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, and thank you, Jesus. It's so many things to pray for. I may have forgotten. I may have forgotten to, to call out the situation, but God knows. God knows, and I just pray that he will hear all of our prayers and answer our prayers for his will, not our will, because God's will is best. And I pray that his will be done in the situation that we be able to accept what he has for us. And I thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Amen. Oh, let's see what these yams are doing now. Here. Oh, yeah. Okay, shalom. Hey, hello, beautiful sister Beverly. So glad I saw you you're live at this time. This is my happy place on YouTube. Always a smile on her face when I hear her. Hallelujah. Yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, yes, yes, Father, we love you and pray for, and pray for you to help those in dire need. Yeah, because it's so many people in dire need. So many. And we got to stand in the gap. We got to stand in the gap. Um... Angela is asking, how is your son? Yeah, okay, and I pray that he's doing better and that he's doing all right. Woo! Look, y'all, these yams, they got me. They got me. I'm ready to eat them, but I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. That's dinner. There's a couple of them still not soft, so. So, when you make them, Make sure you stand by them now. Because they will stick easily. Ooh, Lord, but this sauce. I sound like Carter's A. Ooh, wee! <laughs> I love to hear her do that. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes. 
It's me, it's me, Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. I think I smell those yams from here. I hope you do, because they are smelling good between these yams and that candle. Honey, oh Lord, it smells good. Uh, my son is well, hallelujah. Prayers are still in need for Mr. James, and we still praying for Mr. James. We sure are, honey. Yeah, we standing in that gap. We lifting him up. We lifting him up. And we have a friend, his whole family has COVID or had COVID, but he's been in the unit for about three weeks now on the ventilator. Why people do this? Tell me why they had him dead yesterday. That was the third one had me all tore up. Had him dead and the man still in the hospital in the unit. Folks running around here saying he did. If we don't know what we're talking about, we need to shut up. <laughs> putting stuff like that in the streets can I be selfish I'm getting a hard a hard holster monitor in the morning I'm scared we're wearing it wearing it a week will find you are Angela and I mean it's I understand being fearful Angela it's nothing wrong with that don't feel bad don't feel bad because you are because it's the unknown but you got to keep on praying and trusting God that it'll be all right and whatever they find if they do find anything that is well with your soul but we're not praying that they find anything because God got this and he got you hey bozo how you doing welcome to the live Good to see you today. Good to see you. Lord, Miss Beverly, uh, skip my comment. What did you say, baby? Bozo, I see you saying dancing. Well, I'm watching my yams, and I'm not really seeing all of the comments, but I'm going to go back and see what I see what, See my brother said. Uh, yeah, what did I miss, Bozo? You know I'm slow. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not slow. I need to quit saying stuff like that. But I'm glad you're here, and I pray that all's well. Yes. Let's pray for Bozo and for, for Angela. Come on now. Come on. Lord, we come before you again, and we lifting up our sister Angela Critter, who has to get that heart thing tomorrow lord you know all about it and what they're going to be monitoring but we pray that everything comes out a-okay lord we asking that you would touch her that you would heal her body that you will restore her lord that you would make a miracle in her life we pray for bozo lord he's our brother he's our uncle he's our cousin he's a little bit of everything to us but we love him we ask that your blessings will be upon him that we will strengthen him guide him and protect him and everybody in this life lord we ask for your protection your mighty arms of protection all around us. All of us stand in the need of the prayer, and I just thank you for this opportunity to pray for my sisters and my brothers. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, Lord. Prayers for Bozo, James, and Rochelle. Yes. We praying for it. Wait a minute, y'all. The shooter is what my daughter just sent a text. It went across my laptop. Said it was uh, uh, a shooter at a school in Memphis this morning. And the shooter is in custody. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Always something, y'all. Always. Pray for our children for their protection. Lord, build a fence all around them. Keep them safe. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. The enemy is under their feet. What the devil meant for, get, for bad, God overrided it for good. Jesus, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Why you got to go into schools? I don't understand it. By and by, we will. Let me show them to you now because they are fork tender. 
a whole lot. Look at that. Can you see that good sauce, that glaze? They are fork tender. I'm going to cut them off now. And that's all they have to get is fork tender. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, Angela, for asking me to make some yams. I made them for my sister, Angela. I'm going to cut them off now, y'all. Because y'all know that that sauce is hot. It will tear your tongue up. And I'm not eating them until they cool down some. Uh, dear Angela, I've had the heart monitor three times. By his stripes, you are healed. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of uh, Joshua Jesus, Rafa Shalom. Amen. Amen. She's healed. He, she's ill. LSB looks yummy. What are you eating with the yams? Well, Jimmy made some um, baked chicken yesterday, and we had a lot left over. So I'm going to warm up the chicken. What did we have with the baked chicken yesterday? What did he fix? Oh, I don't forget. He fixed some corn and green beans and potatoes. So we got that to warm up. And with the yams, that's a meal. But when I have yams, uh, Angela, I like to have greens with them most of the time. And I'm, I'm just a collard green fan. I love collard greens. And I love collard greens and cabbage mixed together. Ooh, that's so good. Collard greens and some cabbage and some yams and some macaroni and cheese. Some fried cornbread. <laughs> Set. Um... Angela sounds so good, Bozo. And you didn't sound like <laughs> Bozo, if I could send you a plate, sweetie, I surely would. Because I love feeding people. I love, and especially men. I don't know what it is. I love to see men eat. It's the way men eat. And, and when we have gatherings, and when, I can just stand, I don't have to eat anything. I can just stand back and watch people eat and I am satisfied. I am full. Oh, I got to fix that in the back. <laughs> anyway, I love watching people eat my food, especially when they enjoy it and you can really see that genuine on their face. Honey, you, you got me hooked. You got me hooked in. I'll cook for you from then on. Angela said, yes, greens and yams should always... Always be married. Hello, yes. That's ooh, that's you know what? I may have to go down in the freezer and find me a bag of uh, uh yams. I'm not yams, greens. Yep, I may have to take a trip down the steps. Bozo, if I eat, sure will get that uh black sleepy <laughs> my brother calls it the what do you say? The Jimmy J Jimmy Black dance or something? He calls it because every time Jimmy eats, he get in his recliner and he goes to sleep. Man, almighty God, bless each sister and brother here to overflowing. Yes, Lord, I appreciate the fellowship of all you mighty prayer warriors. I do too. I enjoy so much the fellowship. I enjoy people sharing and asking for prayer because that's what we're all supposed to be. We're supposed to be intercessor prayers. We're supposed to stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters. When they hurt, we're supposed to hurt. You know, when they're happy, we're supposed to be up, uplifted. We are our brothers and sisters keepers. What time is it? 1.45. Oh, Gio will be on following me at 2 o'clock. It's adult day only. She's going to have the adult questions, everybody. So go on over to uh, Boss Life Online at 2 o'clock. Let me see if I can put this lid over it now. Yeah. Because it's not cool time. Uh, to Boss Life Online at 2 and enjoy it. fun questions that's right today is fun questions and she got them ready for us so i can't wait to 
hear what she's going to ask us. Uh, oh, Lord, PG-13? Uh, I think it's R-rated, Bozo. <laughs> I think it's R-rated. I don't believe it's PG-13. I believe it's R-rated. Uh, living your best life. Yes, I'm ready. Living your best Rated mature. That's it. Rated mature. Rated mature. Bozo said, I started a new job this weekend. Oh, good. Are you liking it? Are you liking this job? Bozo, you know what kind of questions I ask. Uh-oh, Bozo. Geo in the room. Geo's in the house. She's going to get you. Uh, congrats, Bozo. Bozo, I'm mature as a baby. You're not a baby. And you're not a toddler. You're a grown man. <laughs> LOL. Oh, you are a grown man, Bozo. We don't ask no toddler questions. That's right, Gio. We put the toddler, where well, Gio put the toddler to rest. He been sleeping for a long time. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. No, we ain't going there, Marlene. Mm -mm. We ain't going there because Toddler is resting. Toddler is resting. The real man Bozo is here now. LSP, sweet. Living your best life. Rest in peace, Toddler. <laughs> That's about the size of it. Rest in peace, Toddler. I haven't started the job. I will. Oh, you will this weekend. Okay. Okay, but it's still good. You still working two jobs? Or are you down to one job now? Let me get me a. Where is my water? Oh, right here. I don't have to cut that in the back of. Well, I need to flat iron it. Would help. Living your best life. So congratulations, Calvin. 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 <laughs> hey Burns, how you doing? Hey, my sister, just stopping in to to say hello, Queen. Well, hello to you, uh, Vern. So glad you came in, Boss Life. Don't forget about Rochelle's showdown of the brands tonight at seven Eastern. Yes, she's having it. I think tonight tonight is about um, bathroom tissue, isn't it? Yeah, we have to wa watch that at seven, Bozo. Um, hi, Burns. See, he's speaking to Burns. And Angela says, sounds good, Bozo. And Boss said, toilet paper, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I seen that earlier this morning. And I, I think it was, yeah, two different brands of bathroom tissue. That should be fun. So, Rochelle's at 7 tonight. Showdown of the brands. We got to watch that. Um... And Burns, well, thank you, Vern. I was getting ready to talk. Thank you for the for the love. Thank you for for showing me the love, Burns. I appreciate it. Burn, what's the date that I am? October. I don't have it in front of me. Burns is uh, interviewing me in October. I'll have to get the date. It's on a Saturday. Burns, if you remember the date, put it up for me. I done forgot. But I will be doing an interview. Uh, Burns will be interviewing me on her channel. <laughs> Living your best life. I'm ready for the showdown. Burns says, me either. I'm at work. Okay, okay. And it's in my phone and I am um, recording on my phone. So I can't look at the date right now. Okay, Bozo is speaking to Burns and Vernell. Okay. Yeah, it's it's in my phone. I'm gonna have to get, but I appreciate the love, um, um, Burns. I really, really do appreciate it, and thank you. And I know you're at work, and you normally go live on your um, on your lunch break. I'm very excited. Woohoo! I am too, Burns. I can't wait for the interview. I am ready. Uh, Rochelle said the winner reveal. Oh, the winner will be revealed tonight. Okay, between Crest and Colgate. Crest and Colgate. Well, I'm sorry, Gio. I'm a Colgate person, though. <laughs> 
But every time, like you said, though, when you went to the dentist, every time I go to the dentist, they give you crest. You are right. They sure do. Um, let me say hello, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. Welcome to the live. I'm at work now myself, and my new job is only 10 minutes from my house. I'll be making 17 bucks per hour. Now it's time to say, yes, good. What a blessing. Uh, Angela says she likes Crest. She's a Crest lady. Burns, I want live questions was what you have done. What have you done for you lately? Okay, okay. I missed your, I missed your lunch break thing today. Boss life. Well, well, well. Um, let me hello Charlene. Crest all day. LSP said crest all day. Uh Angela Critter. Bozo say say for a new game. <laughs> That's what he'll buy as a game. I bet Bozo famous on this game. Yes, he is. That's what he will buy with all that extra money he's going to be making is a new game. But I'm so glad you blessed with a new job and you make you making some good money. Um I don't know if y'all ever here in Knoxville, the um University of Tennessee Hospital, the CNAs are making $27 an hour. The CNAs. I said go ahead now girls and men cuz it's men CNAs too. But go ahead. Uh, Burns, love and light, everyone. Bozo says, say what? What? Yes, $27 an hour because they are so, so short and need the help. $27. Boss live fun questions today. Yes, today at 2, what time is it? One fifty-two. we almost got it, y'all. We almost got it. It's 152. And she will be live at 2 o'clock. Yeah, Bozo, I wish you live around here. You could go on over to um the CNA's bus drive. <laughs> oh, you go nobody wants that's it. Nobody wants to work. It's unbelievable. Everywhere you go, you see the sign. Help want it. Help want it. Help want it. And they given incentives. Um the one, uh, what is it? The Black Horse um, Brewery that's here. They will, what is it? After you're there three months, they will give you like a $500 bonus. And when you're there six months, it's like eight or, it's, it's something. Well, I don't forget how it went, but it's on their little sign out there. They are all giving signing bonus and extra. I have never seen this before. Living your best life. If it's in the hospital, it's PCT. What's PCT? Uh, Calvin and school bus driver. Oh, boss. Well, you asked for them. Some are raunchy and some are raunchy. LOL. LOL questions at boss life. Not for the week. No, they're not. You got to be an adult. And I've not been saying this for adults only. Adults. Angela, so true, Marlene. Brunel, uh, they are desperate for CNAs all over because a lot of people are quitting, not just in... Uh-huh. But I, I was just shocked when I heard, you know, what they were paying, how it they had upped it. But, I mean, desperate situation calls for desperate re uh, things, I guess. But they, they making some good money. Because I know a person... Uh, I know y'all heard like the Aluminum Company of America. They changed the name. I forgot what the new name is now. But it was, I still call it uh, Alcor, the Aluminum Company of America. I call them Alcor. And uh, she w this person had a job there. They left Alcor to go to UT to be a CNA. Uh, living your best life. I used to be one. Yes. Oh, that's a good profession. That's a good, but I was, um, what is it? I was sit. It was a uh, handicap brother and sister. And I, that's how I met Michael Williams that comes in my life. We worked together doing that kind of work. We worked together and the CNAs during that time when we were working together, the CNAs that came into the house to check, 
They weren't making no $27 an hour. They were doing good to make 10. And uh, that's went up quite a bit. I'm sick, but strong enough for your question. You hear Angela is sick, but she says she's strong enough for them questions. And you know what, Angela? It might make, give you a little smile, give you a good, good little time. Sure does. Yep. In four minutes. I'm going to let y'all have one last look at these yams, and then I'm going to speak decree and declare over my brothers and my sisters. Here they are. You see it? Look at that. Y'all better make these for Thanksgiving and Christmas. It is, that's going to be good. You better make them. So easy to make. Get my paper. So we can get ready. Yams, yes, Angela. They, let me see if I let me see if I can trust myself to eat one. Cause I sure don't want to get burnt. Come on. Cause I know how hot these things can be. Mmm. 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 Perfect. Very hot, though. Mmm. Yeah. The sweetness is to for perfection. Mmm. I feel it. I feel it. Well done, Beverly. <laughs> Beverly, I'm going to make your yams um way before thanksgiving <laughs> please do please do they are good mm. Mm -mm -mm. they are good see now i can just sit and eat that and don't eat nothing else thank you lsv great job now if y'all have something you want me to cook next thursday put it in the live i'll pick from whatever y'all saying whichever one i can do I get a $300 sign-on bonus for working there with discounts off food. Oh, that's good. I told you, everybody, they giving these sign-on bonuses. Bozo, thank you, Bozo. Discounts to Calvin. Yeah, all we need is a biscuit. One day, I'm going to make some homemade biscuits on it. They so easy to make, too. It's not even a challenge. I bet Angela make homemade biscuits all the time. Okay, let me speak the Korean and the clerk because it's 158 and we got to be over at Geo's at 2. I am courageous. I am unstoppable. I am victorious. I am love. I am blessed. I am gifted. I am anointed. I am successful. I am healed. I am healthy. I am beautiful. I am whole. I am confident. I am forgiven. I am grateful. I am generous. I am strong. I am favored. I am able. I am powerful. I am fruitful. I am God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece because our God does not make any junk. I love you, but God loves you more. Why? Because you are his masterpiece. And I thank everyone who came by today, who sat and chat with me while I made these Southern yams. And if you have any problem making them, I can't remember the recipe, just give me a little shout out. I got you. Okay, everybody be blessed. Let's put in Boss Life, um, Boss Life, Lord, link. Thank you. I can't think. Link so we can all just swing on over there and answer these questions. See you there. Bye-bye.